Hello and welcome to the Mr. Spreadsheet YouTube channel where we create spreadsheet templates for you and your business. In this video series we are designing a bookkeeping spreadsheet using Excel and in this presentation we complete the final template. Our journey so far has taken us through the following stages. So working on a step-by-step -step basis we have covered in video 1 an introduction to bookkeeping. Video 2 deals with cash accounting. In video 3 it's the chart of accounts, whilst video 4 concentrates on our bank balances. In video 5 we deal with gross profit and in video 6 it's error handling. Video 7 it's the income statement and finally this video number 8 it's the final template. So. If you want to catch up with the previous videos, please visit our YouTube channel and look out for the Basic Business Bookkeeping Spreadsheet playlist. If you would like to receive notifications of our upcoming videos, then please do take the time to subscribe to our channel. On our channel, we understand that the contents of our videos is technical and sometimes further clarification of the formulas, functions and routines is required. If this applies to you, then please post your query in the comment section below. We will always reply to these. Finally, please visit us on our Facebook page and our website, where we have regular spreadsheet-based posts and reviews. I hope you enjoy watching. We have now got to the stage where we can tidy up our work. So go to the bookkeeping spreadsheet and highlight the range I7 through to M7 and use the fill tool on the home ribbon to match the colouring already set for the remainder of that line. Now highlight the range I6 through to M7 and click on the Format Painter tool. Apply this formatting to the range I9 all the way to M25. Select cell H26 and use the subtotal command. To add this column up, the formula is equals subtotal open brackets 9 h6 through to h25 and close the brackets. This returns the value of 98.27. We will now use the subtotal command to add up columns i through to column m. With cell i26 selected, type in the formula equals subtotal, open brackets 9, comma, the range I6 through to I25, and close the brackets. And then copy and drag this formula across to cell M26. Highlight the range H26 through to M25 and increase the font size. Make bold. Use a fill colour of light brown and then from the Borders tool, select All Borders. To complete the bookkeeping spreadsheet template, navigate to cell M2 and type in Net Profit. In cell M3, enter in the formula equals and now navigate to the Reports tab and pick up our Net Profit figure in cell D47. Select the range I3 through to M3 and make bold and increase the font size and then format the numeric values to equal two decimal places and have the comma separator checked. Finally, we will apply Excel's filtering tool to this template. Highlight the range B5 through to M25, i.e. the whole table excluding the subtotals line and from the home ribbon pick up the filtering tool from the editing section. Let's test it all out. Enter in the data on screen in the range C20 through to H25. Check the blank totals at the top. Check the reports page to ensure that all the income statement values and totals are populating correctly. Now test out the filtering on the bookkeeping spreadsheet template. Click the downwards pointing arrow alongside the header of type in cell D5. From the filtering tool dialog box that now opens, 
deselect the Select All box and then select the Payment box and click OK to save and close. The template now truncates to show only payments made in the month. Now click on the filtering button in cell E5 and start typing in cost of labour. As you start typing in the word cost in the search box, so your valid options in the system change. With two options now showing, simply deselect the option you don't want, i.e. other direct costs box. Click OK to save and close. And the template now truncates to show only two instances where we have the type equal to payment and analysis equal to cost of labour. Notice also that our subtotals line has also changed to add up only the values of the filtered items. To clear the filtering, go to the editing section from the home ribbon and from there hit the clear filter tool. The bookkeeping spreadsheet template displays all of its data lines. Now return to the reports worksheet. We need another report to pick up the total values of our non-income statement items. Navigate to cell C5 and enter in the heading other non-profit items. In cell C51 enter in equals and then point to cell C69 on the analysis worksheet and hit enter. Now copy and drag cell C51 all the way down to cell C65 to pick up all of our non-profit items from our chart of accounts. Navigate to cell D4 and copy this formula to the clipboard. Navigate to cell D51 and paste this formula. With cell D51 still active, copy and drag the formula down to cell D65. And in cell D66, use the Auto Sum tool from the Home ribbon to add up all of that section. Let's now tidy up the Reports Worksheet. Highlight column D and right-click your mouse to pick up the Cell Formatting tool. Set the category to Number, the decimals to two places and have the 1000 comma separator box checked. Click OK to save and close. Let's make our total lines more prominent. Highlight row 9 and increase the font size. Make bold and then change the font colour to purple, as in the title. Do the same for rows 16, row 47, row 50 and row 66. Finally, highlight the range C19 through to C44 and use the indent tool to give extra prominence to this section. Optionally, you can choose to tidy up and format the analysis worksheet. But, as this is for working purposes only and not for a presentation, I've left this as is. Now, rename Sheet 1 to read Bookkeeping Records and give this tab a colour of red. Click and hold on the Reports tab and drag this to a position between Bookkeeping Records and the Analysis tab and give this tab a colour of green. Finally, make a few adjustments to the data already entered in the Bookkeeping Records spreadsheet to fully test out and evaluate your work. And that's it. You now have a Bookkeeping Records spreadsheet template that allows you to record and reconcile your bank transactions. You can analyse these records by use of the filtering tool and you can now produce an income statement to calculate your turnover, gross profit and net profit. So if you survived the journey, well done and I sincerely hope that this template is of value to you. Thank you for watching. As usual, we are giving away a free copy of this completed spreadsheet template. To get your free copy, all you have to do is to follow us on our Facebook page and then send us a direct message quoting free bookkeeping spreadsheet. We will then send you the download link together with a 100% discount code which you can then apply against the product's cost. 
Alternatively, you can download the product directly from the Mr. Spreadsheet website, where it is priced at just $9.99. Just follow the link shown above and in the description section below. We do hope that you enjoyed watching and designing this bookkeeping spreadsheet video tutorial series with us. If you are new to the Mr. Spreadsheet channel, then please do subscribe. And if you want to be notified of our future video releases, then please be sure to select the notifications option as well. If you need further help or clarification of the various formulas, functions, commands and routines that we have used, then please do use the comment sections below to leave your message. We will always reply to these. And finally, if you like this content, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. We look forward to seeing you in the next video, details of which will follow shortly.